dudes and dudettes. How are you guys? This is Chazzy and welcome back to What's the Damage, the good old WTD question mark here on my channel, you know, the segment where I can let the dogs out and give heated rants, you know, and angry, anger-induced topics, you know, filled with spiteful rage about things that I usually don't agree with, you know, and giving my, my take on them, what I feel about them, and you know, today's topic is one of those that's really gonna fuel the flames of anger inside of me, you know, because it's something that really pisses me the hell off, you know, which is, of course, vandalism, you know, it, when it comes to nature, you know, animals and uh, geographical, no, ge geological points, you know, like natural formations in the world, you know, whenever people vandalize these things, it really makes me really freaking ticked, you know, because when you when you cut down trees, for example, or burn uh, burn forests down, you know, this is the kind of thing that really irks me, you know, when you mess with the environment in ways that are going to have impacts on us as a species, you know, which a lot of people don't even care about, but. Today I'm gonna talk about something very peculiar, you know that happened back in 2016, but before I get into it, the title and thumbnail already gave away what I'm gonna talk about, but before that, let's establish a little bit of a backstory here, okay? Now, there was for a long time this thing, this very beautiful natural rock formation called Duckbill Rock, you know, that was actually located in Cape Kilwanda in Pacific City in Oregon, uh, United States, you know, and it's really interesting how this works, you know, because this place here, there, I have a little bit of a cheat sheet here talking a little bit about the area itself, you know, this was a state park, you know, so it was it was kind of open to visitation but not entirely you know because there were a few areas that were closed off you know and today i'm going to be talking about one of those places there now this particular rock was also known aside from the duck bill it was also called the pedestal because it had a very peculiar shape you know because the way that it was mounted on like a very thin layer of rock and it had like a very large shape on the top so it kind of looked like a duck bill you know hence the name right it looked like literally a, a, the, the neck and head of a duck you know so this is a, a scientists have researched this and they have established that it has it's been around for about 18 million years or so which is a lot of time you know whether you believe in in a whether or not you believe in science or the bible however however long this thing is i don't care you know i'm just giving the information here from a scientific standpoint you know all of these millions of years of erosion corroded away you know the base of the rock until it kept getting thinner and thinner and only the layer on the top was left over you know so it survived everything man we're talking about erosions natural disasters and storm rain strong winds maybe even flooding you know it has seen everything and it was still there after all these years you know so naturally it became a very popular tourist attraction you know and it started to gain a little bit more traction in the 1930s and 40s you no know, because the government would actually use it as a spot to promote the tourism you know and Pictures of it were, were used by tourism companies, you know, to show how beautiful the coast was, you know, it was all this whole thing around it there to use it as like a landscaping thing, you know, so the thing is that this particular rock was located uh, in one of the deadliest spots in Oregon, you know, because between 1960 and 2016, 18 people lost their lives trying to traverse the surface there, you know, so it's not an easy place to have access to, and it's not even supposed to be accessed because there are fences, there are warning signs, there are even park rangers there who are who tell people that they can't access this area, but even so, man, you know, people still flock to it, they keep going to it to visit it, and Unfortunately, in 2016, a very, very sad tragedy occurred, you know, and I'm gonna be talking about that now, but before that, let's take a look at a few photos of the rock here while it was still standing in all of its mighty glory. As you can see, it really was truly a very unique rock formation that we will probably never see again, you know, because it was its own thing, man. It was very, very, it stood out, you know, in its own right, you know, kind of like Hyperion, which is the tallest tree on the planet, you know, it just, it's just there, you know, it sticks out very prominently, you know, and oh my God, man, it's really hard to talk about this next part, but on August 29th, 2016, something happened, you know, and I'm pretty sure you guys know where this is going because of the title of the video. 
a group of teenagers, they went there, you know, uh, apparently to, I don't know, maybe they were drunk or something and they were just really dumb or wanted to draw attention. They crossed the fence there that was already, you know, because guys, for you to get to this area, the fence is very clear. It's very deliberate and to actually, to actually get to this area, you have to intentionally crawl through the wire, man. It's not easy. It's not like jumping over a wooden fence, you know, in like a farm, you know, it's very, it's a bit of a challenge to access this area. So already they did it intentionally. And now for some reason, they felt the need to topple over the goddamn rock because one of them alleged that one of their friends broke their leg trying to uh, traverse the area you know so in their heads they were actually doing a public service you know toppling over the damn thing for no reason at all they thought it was a hazard they thought it was a safety hazard for the people who were climbing there you know because apparently uh, this kid here what i think happened is that he probably tried to climb the thing like an idiot he fell and he broke his leg or maybe he broke his leg close to it you know because he slipped on it something happened and this is why i think they were drunk or just a bunch of douches because their friend hurt himself trying to climb something that he shouldn't have in the first place in an area that they shouldn't have been in in the first place they thought that the rock was a menace to society so they decided to to knock it over which they thought was going to make it better for other people who came there to visit an area that is not supposed to be visited at all it's completely closed off it's it, you're not allowed to visit the goddamn area there man you know so the very simple fact that you traversed it you know went over you trespassed on property that is not meant to be accessed and you knocked down a rock that was that like the the, the signs there the fence is they're supposed to protect people from doing this very thing man you know it's really stupid and the saddest thing about this is that the vandals have still not been caught so they have not faced any legal action or repercussions for their actions there's no silver lining here or rather uh after they toppled it there's uh yeah there was no silver lining for their actions the uh, the park itself is not ruined there are still other tourist attractions there you know other things to see but this is an area that was preserved for a reason man they were trying to keep this exact thing from happening which ultimately happened anyway for no reason man you know why would you do this this rock survived everything everything that the planet could throw at it involving natural disasters and the natural erosion of the land of, of, of the ground under it you know it survived everything that mother nature threw at it but a couple of dumb asses came over and just knocked it down in five seconds flat for no goddamn reason at all man honestly dude I mean, I, I mean, it's funny because there is footage of them, you know, we, we do see a video of them doing it, but still it's difficult to pinpoint exactly who they are, man. You know, if there were more, if there were more security cameras there or like a regist registry entry point where they could actually have given their personal information before signing in to go visit it, then maybe it would have been a lot easier. But the very simple fact that they still haven't been caught, man, and because there's no reason for you guys to ever visit this rock, man. If you can see it from far away, then just look at it from far away, because if if you visit this place you're going to go there to take the same photo online to take the same photo for yourself that you can easily find online you know it's like mount everest why would you climb mount everest to take a photo if you can see photos of it online you know there's really no logic to this at all man this was just a tragic waste of nature you know just completely unnecessary vandalism at its worst and now this is where I'm pretty sure you guys are going to feel the same amount of anger that I do. Let's take a look now at a clip, the actual clip of these freaking a-holes toppling the rock. A rock formation standing for thousands of years, gone in mere moments. A seven-second video posted online shows three people toppling a popular sandstone pedestal at Oregon's Cape Kowanda State Park. The cell phone video was shot by David Callis. I'm like, you know, they're not gonna push down, I don't know how much the rock weighs, but you know, this huge rock. And then you see in my footage, you know, that they just toppled the rock over. The iconic piece of sandstone was known locally as the duck bill. It was about seven feet tall and seven to 10 feet wide on top. Though fenced off, it's long been a destination for nature lovers and nature photographers. It's tough, man. It's tough. I know it's tough. It's hard to look at, but that's why I'm recording this video to raise awareness. You know, I know it's hard, but 
just gotta get through it, you know, to get through this video. And it's really hard to even get to this area, man, you know, because I mean, <laughs> Like between 2014 and 2016 alone, seven people freaking died, man, you know, because it's not easy to get to this area, you know, they die from falling off a cliff or getting stuck, you know, in the unstable limestone steep cliffs there, you know, so the rocks there are not easy to traverse, so they fall to their deaths, you know, almost all of them are teenagers, and that's simply because teenagers take risks, you know, the, some of the fences were rotten, you know, and the signs were kind of eroded, so I guess maybe they didn't really take it too seriously, so there really should have been much more, uh, a much stronger crackdown on the safety there to avoid people going to this rock you know because 2013 is like the perfect storm season that was the, the perfect storm season because that's when a lot of photos started to show up on instagram and social media of this rock so whenever something shows up on instagram a tourist attraction people are going to flock there and overrun it you know and that's what happened to Dougville rock it's really normal to see people climb up there to take photos standing or sitting on it they even i think even a wedding uh, a photo shoot was done there with the couple, you know, standing on the rock and taking a photo together, you know. <laughs> a strong wind comes over and blows them to their death, man. That's what's gonna friggin'. But it's really hard, man. It's really hard. It was even almost gonna be a power plant at one point, the area there, I think, back in the 70s, you know, which would have presented an, e an even more bigger danger. But the point is that we are observing this phenomenon where too many people want to visit a place, you know, and it completely ruins it, just like with Maya Bay, you know, that I did a video about some time ago, you know, talking about the crazy amount of pollution there you know a place that was completely annihilated by humanity and it's just really sad man it's just horrific you know and i don't even know what else i can say i mean uh, uh like uh of course ever since the rock was knocked over yeah less people died but i don't think it did i think it's because they started to close off the area a little bit more and limit the amount of people who could access it you know so hopefully nobody knocks down any more points of attraction you know and it's just freaking crazy, man. I don't even know what else I can say, you know, because people go there, you know, sometimes there's like hundreds of people there partying, camping, and that's going to present a danger to the environment, which you've already seen many times before, you know, so I don't even know what else I can say, but, uh, oh yeah, <sighs> knocking down a rock for no reason, man, you know, and every, uh, every article that you can find, which is one that I'm pulling up here right now, that's pretty much what it is, you know, that's what they did. They thought they were doing Oregon a favor, but they just made it worse, you know? So no police investigations now, you know, because there's really nothing else that they can do. They've exhausted all the information. You know, that's what the cheat sheet says here. So I don't even want to talk about this anymore, man. You can find interviews online about the police officers talking about it. But at the end of the day, it's just a tragic case of rampant vandalism that will go unpunished for a very long time. And that's it, guys. I don't even want to talk about this anymore. I don't even think there's anything else I can say. I'm running out of things here to say in the cheat sheet, you know. So it this obviously did not make Cape Kiwanda safer, you know. It's still popular, you know. But I'm just trying to find something else here that I can say. Maybe a, a bit of hope that they got their repercussions. But nope, nothing here. Nothing at all. Pictures are not worth dying for, man. But anyway, uh, I think that's it, guys. I'm just getting really stressed out here at the end. I don't know what else I can say, so I think I'm gonna leave it here. Showed you guys a couple of photos, the clip, and hopefully you're just as outraged by this as I am, just talking about it, and hopefully we can raise awareness so this does not happen again, you know? Would have been nice to have seen it in person, not from too close, but you know, now it's all over. We'll never get the opportunity. If you guys happen to like this video, Please go ahead and give it a like and also subscribe to my channel because I release videos every single day. And while you're at it, might as well hit the notification bell as well to know exactly what time I upload. I have to wrap this up soon because my battery is running low of all things. So I have to uh, finish up so I can charge it and record a few more vlogs. And that's it for today's video. This is Chazzy signing out for now. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Roll the outro screen.